Now I'll create a master control and add some custom channels. So I'm going to go to create NURBS primitive circle and then I'm going to scale that circle like this. Okay. Now if I wanted to move this character, I'm going to have to select, you can see here if I select that, that moves the entire character. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take that and then I'm going to parent it to the NURB circle. So I'm going to take this reference, select this and press P as in parent. Now if I grab this, I can see that that comes along for the ride. However, um, the face controls and the eye aim does not. So I could take this eye aim, select that, press P as in parent. Now I can move that together. And same with the face control. Okay, so I can, here's my GUI. And then I could go down here, press P as in parent. And now if I move this, all of this comes together. Uh, even if I rotated this, it doesn't matter. Um, the character is going to kind of be all kind of contained. Okay. Um, so that's good. I'm going to call this master control. And um, in here, okay, so now maybe I'm going to go modify. Okay, I can't, I can't freeze transformation once um, I added all that stuff. So what I could do is I could take all this stuff out for a second. Okay. I took, I unparented all of that by just middle mouse dragging it out. And on this master control, before I do anything, I'm going to go modify, freeze the transformations. And then maybe delete by type, history. There we go. Now that's nice and clean. Now another way that I could parent that, I could just grab all this stuff and middle mouse drag and drop it onto master control. And now they're all parented into the master control, so now I can move it. Okay, good. And I can see that that's zeroed out. Now, I could add some custom things on here. So for example, if I take this um, master control, I could go over here to channels and uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think about where I want that. Yeah, so I feel like on the um, next lesson, I'll go ahead and add the um, channels in here. Well, I guess I could do it right here. Okay, so yeah, so on the master control, I can go to edit and I can say add attribute. And now here I'm adding an attribute here. So I could call this um, hair. Okay, and I'm going to have it a um, I'm going to have it a boolean. No, I'm going to have it an enum. Okay, an enum is basically these are programming terminologies, and an enum I can change between um, two different. It's kind of like a list. So I'm going to have this. I'm going to call this male, and then I'm going to have this female. Okay, so two different hairstyles and I'm going to go ahead and hit add. And you can see what that did is it added a, an attribute here. And if I click on this, here's female and here's male. Okay. Now I have imported some female hair. And obviously that looks weird right now. Um, and also I should point out that if I move this head, that female hair does not move with it. So I'm going to select the female hair. And I will uh, so shift select that joint and press P. There we go. Now that hair moves along for the ride. Okay. Obviously, it looks weird if they're both on there at the same time. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have, I'm going to set a driven key for this. So I'm going to go up here to key, set driven key. And on the set, I'm going to go to the options. And I'm going to have this master control be my driver. Load driver, master control. And I'm going to choose hair. OK. Then what is that going to drive? I'm going to drive this hair, load driven. But what on the hair? I'm going to drive the visibility. 
Okay, so uh, when master control hair, so when master control hair is set to male, the hair visibility is going to be set to one or going to be set to on. And I can see there that looks good. Key. Okay, so hair. There we go. Key. Now, if I go to the master control and if I set this to female, I want that this hair visibility to be set to zero. Key. Okay, so now, once again, if I go back to the master control and set this to male, there it is. If I set it to female, it's like that. Okay, which isn't obviously exactly what we want yet, but I feel like it's at least got rid of the male hair. So I'll put the female hair on, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say master control hair is my driver, and this is going to be my driven. Okay, so I could name this female hair. And, um, and now I'm going to go, okay, great, low driven, there it is. Um, master control hair is female hair visibility. So when master control is set to female, I want the visibility to be on. That's good. So I'll hit key. And then when I set the master control hair to male, I want the visibility of the female hair to be set to zero. And now I'll key that. OK, great. So now, once again, if I go back here, you can see that I've got where I can change this out. That's pretty cool, okay? I could also do things like um, get clever with it and maybe like change the visibility of the GUI, for example. You can see here's GUI, and I could turn that on or off. So maybe I'll do this. I'll select the master control. I'll go to edit, and I'll go to add attributes, and I'll call this face controls. And I'll have that, um, maybe I'll have this a Boolean now instead. And I'll click OK. And now you can see Boolean is going to be either on or off. So what I could do is I'm going to have, I'm going to select the master control, load driver, there's face controls. I'm going to select the GUI group and go to load driven. And I'm going to key the visibility. So visibility. So when if I select the master control, face control, when this is set to on, I could type in on there or press one, the visibility of the GUI is going to be on. So I'm going to key that. If I set the master control, if I set this to off, I could type in off or press zero, then the visibility of the GUI group is going to be off. Key. Okay, cool. So now if I go here, I can set this, I could, once again, if I press on or off, hey, cool. And then this, this is the enum, where I, I get kind of a list of things. I can get really creative with it, okay? So I feel like that, once again, should ho open up a kind of a world of possibility for you to really kind of start putting in your own custom channels. And I think a good idea is to download rigs from websites that other people have made and kind of explore them. I think sometimes a good idea is to open up, you know, the um, click on the base master control and see if there's extra channels that maybe they put in there and see what kind of um, features they have and just kind of how they set up um, maybe their, um, their GUI for their face rig, okay? And all of these different things, Everybody does it, once again, slightly differently, but I feel like we've got a really good foundation of a lot of the things that are important for rigging.